Hello. By now you've certainly heard the term mashup and you've likely seen examples of various types of applications built as mashups. The example I'd like to show you today demonstrates how reusable UI widgets can be built using server-side languages like PHP, supported by IBM's WebSphere Smash. These reusable widget components are the building blocks for IBM's Lotus Mashup Center. And it lets you wire a variety of widgets together to assemble any of a number of mashup applications quickly and easily. The mashup application I'll be showing you provides a typical business function. It's the ability to see uh, responses to various promotions that a business is running and allows them to monitor and assess the effectiveness of the various types of advertising that they're using. So here we are in the Smash Application Builder, the Web IDE. And this is where I, what I use to go ahead and build my PHP widgets. Uh, the widget I specifically chose for this application so that the user could navigate through the data based on uh, time, the events, uh, days of the week, week ending dates, month, was a calendar. So here's my calendar application. It's a PHP application. I can show you here the code and you'll see that it's really not uh, particularly different than most PHP applications. Um, it generates dynamic HTML. All of the events are invoke uh, a little bit of JavaScript. The JavaScript is very simple and what they're going to do is invoke, it's called this post event function which will send the event using the iWidget uh, capabilities of the mashup maker. And uh, so I'm ready to go ahead and start this application. And then we'll, while we're still in the application builder, we can actually go ahead and run it and test it. So I'll go ahead now and run the application. <clears throat> we'll be able to see what it looks like and test it to make sure it's generating the events that we're expecting. So here is the uh, calendar. Now if I go ahead and click on the, the different dates or the days of the week, the month, I can go forward and backward in time. I can click on the week ending and everything looks like it's working exactly the way uh, I expect. So once I've tested it and I'm satisfied that it's working, uh, it's already been wrapped as an iWidget so I'm ready to go ahead now and uh, test it inside of the uh, Lotus Mashup Center. Now I went ahead and I've already uploaded it and installed it. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just see if, uh, take a look here and we'll see what it looks like here and just make sure that it works exactly the same as it does as you just saw working while it was in the app application builder. So here is a calendar I widget. Now in uh, the Mashup Center they have a number of useful viewers. Here's one called the Explorer and the Event Explorer. So what I can do with this is go ahead and just wire it to receive the events that are being triggered by the calendar and just make sure that in fact I'm getting all the events that I'm expecting just like I was when I was testing in an app builder. And it looks like I am. So I'll go ahead and close this. And what we'll, we'll do next then is we're ready to go ahead and hook it up to some live data. These are the other application that I had written. That uh, These are the feeds now. So this is the thing, the actual services that are collecting up the information. Uh, and then are going to feed the information back either in the form of a atom feed or as a CSV depending on the viewer that we're using in front of it. And I'll show you both. So the first thing we'll do is just to show you how to do the wiring, we'll go ahead and take a JavaScript adapter And we'll just put in just a little bit of JavaScript code. 
And basically what this JavaScript code is, what it's going to do is between the, the calendar, which sends events in one format, here you have a table viewer which expects a URL. So the JavaScript adapter is basically going to listen for the events uh, that are generated by the calendar and take that data and construct a URL and return it. Then all we have to do is configure the adapter to get the events from the calendar and send them to the table viewer as a URL, add a feed URL. And that's it. And now if I click on the calendar, the events are being picked up by the adapter, they're returned and being given to the table viewer, invokes the URL, the PHP feeds that we have running in the Smash runtime, generate the feed data, and they're brought back and displayed in the viewer. And then for my finished application, I just added in a charting viewer. It works exactly the same as what we just went through with the table viewer. Now when I click on the calendar, both the chart and the detailed table view are responding to those calendar events. So there you have it, an example of UI widgets created for Lotus Mashup Maker using dynamic UI content from PHP.